Hi there, DW Berman here, and in this week's video I'm going to show you how to uh, miter a joint in Lightwave. And I've already recorded that video, but I want to show you uh, why that is necessary to do the way I show in this. And th let's say I have this uh, 2x4 here. It's not really 2x4, but you know, something along those lines. Measurements, common wood size if you're not in familiar with what a 2x4 is. Uh, commonly milled wood size. It's what the walls are generally made of. Okay, so I have this 2x4 here and I have it joined up to this one here, I, or I want to make this kind of a shape. Well, you might think to just, you know, bring this down here and then, uh, you know, bevel it to extend it out and, oops, I didn't actually bevel bevel it and extend it out like that and then just kind of rotate it around and move it over but you notice that it seems to be thicker on this end than it is over here and it you know as we move it around we don't get the kind of corner we need so you know we also will then have to adjust this in order to compensate and you know it it can be done but it's can get a little tedious so I'm going to show you another way of how to do that. Hi there, DW Berman here. This week is going to be a short uh, tip, and I don't know how well it's recording since it is uh, also rendering in the background. But uh, every once in a while we need to make some sharp edges and keep the same width on the boxes, and one way I do that is I just come in here with a knife tool and it's a shift K for the knife tool. And I just kind of cut these boxes at the intersections. And you know, if you get really close, you can you know, get it right on. In fact, I'll just zoom in or expand the view. And I got this idea from uh back when I was in college. They were a little slow in converting to digital and they actually taught us how to get sharp corners on ads and we had these we had tape that had a line on it, a, a rule on it, and uh, basically you just made the box around the thing and then you uh, sliced at the corners to get sharp corners on your ad. Oh, joys of old manual layout. Of course, you don't worry about that in computers nowadays, so basically I just come in here and get it as close as you can to uh, where these pieces line up. It looks like I grabbed it instead of the handle. Yeah, grabbed the middle instead of the handle. Have to redo that. And of course, with uh, LW CAD, it's probably a very simple tool that comes with it. But I don't have that because I just don't have it. I don't do a ton of modeling. Okay, so that looks good. Hit enter to take that one. And you might need to come in there and uh, zero the intersections out. Scale the uh, the points. Just so you make sure they overlap. And I'll show you what I mean by that in a second once I'm done with all this stuff. So that's... I just hit the spacebar to accept that. Now one more cut to go. So there may be an easier way to do this, but... I'm fairly happy with the way this works. It's a little tedious. Okay, so now that I have those selected, uh, I think I'll just use weld average. So, uh... Where's weld average? Yeah, there we go. It's probably under detail. If not, it's under construct. You know, I didn't want to do that because that would screw it up. It'll weld four points instead of two points, and I don't want to do that. So ignore the weld average thing. Okay, so just zoom in all the way. And... Uh, use your scale tool and you might just use a uh, change the mode 
to selection. Now when you squeeze and scale it might move a little bit but this thing I'm working on is tiny. You can see these are way below one millimeter. So I could probably just uh, do a weld points or merge points like by hitting M and changing fix to one millimeter and hey there we go our points are eliminated. Let me do that again when I don't have everything selected. 20 points eliminated. Okay so now to clear out the excess we just shift to uh, polygons mode and right click and lasso around the extra polygons. Actually, oh, we don't want that. We deselect those. There we go. It's not as super precise of a way of doing things, but it might work well enough for this project and your project. So there you go. There's a quick way to get sharp edges on overlapping rectangles. Let me look at it in 3D to make sure everything's okay. Yeah, it's all right. So thanks for watching, and uh, subscribe to this video so you or this channel so you can uh, catch the other videos I post, and uh, also visit us at liberty3d.com where some of us have some great tutorials for you to sell or to buy, and uh, yeah, we also post some news once in a while and try to keep everything groovy in the light wave world. So, uh, talk to you later. Enjoy the rest of your day.